Hello friends, today we are taking a look at some of exchange functionality and specifically I want to demonstrate a usage of a very small utility which is immensely helpful in troubleshooting workflow of your SMTP server. It also helps to figure out how the emails are delivered and without further ado, let's get on with it. So we'll start on the exchange server which I have set up recently. I actually have two VOD videos from stream, which still use my old equipment, but you can see how I set it up. And now in order to access my exchange server, I just need to use HTTPS double slash the server name, dchu xo one twitchcom And then at the end at slash OWA, which stands for Outlook Web Access. That will log me in into the web version of Outlook, which comes with the Exchange server. As we connect, you will be able to see that there is a specific email uh, which was sent uh, as a test email. And before we continue uh, with testing with the SMTP dummy, uh, I am going to show you how do I send a message without using anything special. So this is the email which I got from myself somehow. This user Eurist got it from Eurist. So in order to send an email message, uh, especially when you're troubleshooting, you can simply use PowerShell. Let me show you a couple of commands for that. So you would want to start the PowerShell uh, on the mail server. And in order to use the necessary commands, you would want to actually integrate the exchange PowerShell snap -in. You see it in the previous VOD video, but I will show it here as well. So we are going to add PS snapin. Snapins are basically modules which you can load to use extra functionality. And in this case, it's called Microsoft Exchange Management PowerShell PowerShell Snapin. Okay. So as soon as this snapin loads, we should be able to so use such commands as uh, get mailbox, uh, get mailbox user, etc. The command we are interested in, uh, oh, before we do that, let's check that it works. Get mailbox. It should return the list of mailboxes on the mail server. But the command we are going to be using uh, is send mail message. It's somewhat deprecated, it's an old command, but it works for troubleshooting purposes. We are going to specify SMTP server, which is in this case uh, DC HU EXO1 twitch.com. Uh, we'll use from, and here you can use any name. I just say test user, but you can put any name here and specify the email because we are basically just making the header of the message. It will be our user urist at twitch.com. Don't forget to close the triangle brackets. And the to user, so we know to deliver it to specific user, will be target user, again, any name you want to do, you can use the real name from Outlook. And the mailbox is our urist at twitch.com. Uh, that should be enough. A missing subject. Let's say test mail to. Okay. So once this command goes through, we should have the email delivered. And we'll use the default SMTP server on this server. It will probably take a moment to get here, but it will be sent. Here it is. And interestingly enough, we don't have anything in the send items because this user didn't send anything it came from powershell but because we used uh, the email address here it looked like it was sent from us so now we have these two emails delivered in some cases where the emails go through multiple servers uh, the email may be stuck somewhere or maybe not delivered so you could want to set up a smtp server on a specific machine and check how does your mail delivery work you can even play with the different TCP ports to verify connectivity on various ports. Uh, the tool I'm going to use today is called SMTP Dummy by Scilog Software. You can see the address here, scilog.org slash tools 
slash SMTP dummy dot JSP. And it's a very small program, just one megabyte, which you can run on any server you have. And as soon as you start it, it starts the SMTP server. You can go to the settings and you can change the port from default 25 to any other. That's going to be useful if you want to set up multiple SMTP servers listening on different ports or something like that. Default configuration is 25, so that's what we are going to use. So this server is not actually resending anything, it's just receiving. But it is a very useful tool for capturing the email flow. So let's do what we did, but in this case, instead of SMTP server uh, that we know is our exchange server, we are going to specify the second computer, which is dco1.twitch.com. And in this case, I will specifically say port 25, but you don't need to do it if it's default port. If your port would be different, you could set it here. So let me show you how. So you go to the settings, server port, let's say port 26. Now we can stop and start the server again. And in this case, we would have to specify port 26 here. But we are going to test with default port for now, because the other port is blocked by firewall. So by doing this, and also this time I will not forget to say subject SMTP test. This went through. We are not receiving any messages right now, as you can see, because it went to a different SMTP server. But on this computer, you can see that there is an email message, which you can actually observe, which has our from and to, and it has a specific information inside of the message. You can see the body, which is empty, subject, the date, time, target, source, user. It says where it came from. It tells you IP address. It so shows the hello value of the server. And uh, in this case, you can also look at the logs if necessary to see the information. So this is a very simple tool to set up. You basically just run it and if necessary, change the port. And that allows you to track any possible problems with your emails, especially if uh, you don't have a visibility over the log of the server itself. That was a short video. It showed you how to send message through PowerShell and uh, how to capture SMTP using this small SMTP server. I can give you an example uh, where it can be useful. Uh, when I support my backup application, sometimes the users may report that there are no emails delivered. So we could set it up on the target server that we want to, let's say, test, and we don't want to flood the real server with messages. And we can configure uh, the target server as an SMTP server in my backup application I support. And then we will be able to see whether it goes through or not. What I can also do, I can find some servers closer to my computer with the backup application and test connection to that server first using the standard TCP tricks and SMTP dummy. And this way I can find on which step of the connectivity we lose the ability to receive the emails and that makes it much easier for the networking team to figure out what's wrong. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, feel free to leave a comment or a like or maybe suggest any improvements you think are important. And I wish you a great day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.